Hello everyone, welcome back to Pwn TV, and it's your host here, Mr. Overgriff, with some Dragon Ball Super. I'm going to show you my Universe 6 deck that I actually just built. This is a Universe 6 deck using Kale as the leader card. Kale says, when this card attacks a leader card, draw one card. Awaken, when you're at 4 or less life, you can flip this, uh, you can flip this card over and untap 2 energies. Okay, when you flip this card over... She becomes Lady of Destruction Kale, permanent. If Kalifla is in play in your battle area, you don't have to place cards in your from your hand in the drop area as a result of this card's skills. So it gives you the option as a permanent effect to just ignore the drop effect uh, attached to the auto effect on this card if you meet the requirements, which requires you have a Kalifla in play. This deck has plenty of Kaliflas in it. The auto in this, on this card says when it attacks, you always draw one. Have to draw one when it attacks. Then you place one card from your hand in your drop area and your opponent plays one card from their hand in the drop area. That last effect is optional, to the best of my knowledge, due to the permanent effect on this card. It's optional that you can place it in the drop or not. So you just need to know that you could or you, you don't have to drop it, but you can if you want. In most cases though, you're going to probably not want to drop it unless you're ready for a scientist foo, then, then you would ideally want to drop the card. All right, and of course this deck runs the two scientist foos. That's kind of mandatory. So let's look at the 50 card list. So you can see uh, early game pressure. I have three copies of Kaba's Awakening. Shout out to set one. Kaba's Awakening is pretty interesting. Nice defensive card. Really good 6k pumps. Can be used at any point in the game during the combo phase for free. Very nice. One drops. We have four of the Kaba Universe 6 Mediators. It searches for a Universe 6 card off the top three. Might as well run four. And we also have four vanilla 10k bodies, which happen to be Cauliflas, which happens to be really strong with this leader, which also happens to have evolved targets in deck, and also happens to be able to swing 10 on turn one or two and take a life card from the opponent, which also puts them in lightning fast hit range. By the way, spoiler alert, we might be using lightning fast hit in this deck. All right, next up we have some two drops. That is going to be our four of the the draw uh, attack for 15 draw a card. Basically, uh, turn this guy sideways, draw a card, swing 15. Pretty much every time, because you have a one drop universe six almost always. So four of this guy to keep the hand really really fat, because you want to drop a fat stack on him. And then also for two, we have the super combos in the deck. Right here, the super combo is a universe six, so I can tutor it up. I could simply play it if I use my 4-drop Cauliflower as well, and it can swing 12. It can also swing 12 at a tapped blocker. Yep, if I really need to, I'll just hard cast it and swing 12 at a tapped blocker. Kill that shit. Get it out of my face. Alright, so that's it for 2 drops. For 3 drops, we have... Boom. Can't be countered. Not that relevant. Pretty strong card in general though. When it attacks, if your leader card uh, is a red Saiyan, which this, in this case it is, then it gains 5k boost for the duration of the turn. So swing 20 for, for 3. Quite interesting, quite powerful, and it's also universe 6. And it's also able to be grabbed by this card. And it's also able to be, able to be played by, uh, for free with the 4-drop uh, Cauliflower. Bold Saiyan uh, Cauliflower. Alright, other 3 drops in the deck that are really strong. This is the card that allows me to pick up a life card. It also gets 5k double strike boost. So it's a 20k double striker, pretty much every single time that it hits the battle area. So that's really strong. It can also be grabbed for free off of a Kaba on turn one, and they can also be played for free off of a, a, um, off of a Cauliflaw on turn three or four. All right. And the, the, the last three drop that I use in this deck is actually the Spice, which is your Dimension Leaper hit, one of the only non-Saiyans in the deck, um, other than our super combo. It is Dimension Leaper hit. This card is really strong to play as a 4 of. It keeps coming back to the battle area every single turn for free. Uh, so moving forward from turn 3, you get another 15k body every single time. No exception unless you screwed up your last turn and didn't activate main, which you always should. This is just a really, really strong card to just keep seeing it come back to the battlefield every single turn is nuts. Plus it has a lightning fast evolve target that it could eventually be a target for a lightning fast hit. So that's really strong. Alright, so very, very strong. It is also a Universe 6, so it meets all the criteria for our 4-drop Bold uh, Cauliflower and our 1-drop Kappas, 
It also is a 5k pop, like most everything else in the set, so it could simply always be good in every situation, and it's a red charge, if you need it to be. So, so many reasons to play it as four. Just like this last card that we that we showed you, all of these three drops were kind of bad, but the Dimension Breaker is like the best one, honestly, in most of your games, because you're going to play the Lightning Fast hit, it's just like your, your best turn three choice. But you do have all of these other turn three choices, or you could double up on some of your turn one and two plays if you need to, and just keep developing that board on turn three. On turn four, we have the Cauliflas that I talked about, which can evolve onto another Cauliflas for three, which is I, honestly, another turn three play, um, so I might as well have, add that to our turn three plays. But in a worst case scenario, you aren't really playing it for free because you have no say in teamwork combos, so you do have to cast it. So it's going to be three or four for you, three or four energy for you to get this effect. That's fine. And that's 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 probably how you're going to use it, honestly. But it also is a 5k pump, and in a uh, worst case scenario, it's sitting in your hand. You didn't charge it. It's a 5k pump. Fine. Big deal. I like that. The 5k pump's great. Uh, but it plays a guy for free. Like, obviously that's really, really strong in Tournament of Power. To play guys for free off the top of your deck, really strong. And those guys might have their own abilities, that's very strong. Okay, so that is one of our four drops. Another four drop is not Universe 6. It is our old school Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku. And since it's not Universe 6, I actually bumped it from 4 to 3. I think I'm going to play 3 for a little while and see how I like 3. And if I don't like 3, I might make changes. Okay. Um, other other four uh, turn four plays we have the one of spice evolve four kale it's a five but you would evolve for four on one of your kales with this card so another option for turn four you could just play this guy and it blows up the field basically except for not your cauliflowers or kales which you hap happen to have a lot of in this deck so you could pretty much manage and it's dropping your kabas and your super combos if it ha if they were in play and your hits in the drop. It's just dropping those when it blows stuff up, which allows you to overwhelm your scientist foods and your mass ants to actually blow other stuff up. Maybe they have maybe they have their own cauliflowers and kales that you can't kill with this card, right? Because it says other than cauliflowers and kales. Yep. Or maybe they have a 30k dude. Well, you can get rid of it with some of this other stuff, some of this other spice. Another uh, turn four play that you have, really, really strong one in this deck, Forcing Hit. Forcing Hit's a fantastic card. Just to be able to tap four and take away their win condition, turn after turn after turn, until you finally reach your win condition, is really strong. Plus, you're just adding more hits to the board for potentially a lightning fast hit evolve target for game. Really, really strong. And since you have so many hits, you might as well run the OG hit. So this is lightning fast hit. It is one of the only 10k combos in the, in the deck, and it's fine using it for its 10k combo cost. Ideally, you would want to use it for its evolve cost, but if your option is win game with 10k or not win game, then you want to just 10k pump with this card. Fair enough, but in general, this card's going to evolve onto either a foreseeing hit or ideally a dimension leaper hit that just came back from warp. That would ideally what you would, that would be ideally what you would want to evolve onto, and it's going to inflict two damage. So if they're at 3, now they're at 1. If they're at 2, now they're at GG. Basically. Alright? So it's a very, very strong card to play. And it really shreds the opponent. And they typically don't expect it, especially if you're hiding it. If you don't show it the entire game, and you make sure that when you use your foreseeing hit, you grab their foreseeing hit, if they happen to run that card, or anything that's going to look at your hand, you grab that shit from them, so they can't look at your hand. And then they don't even expect the lightning fast hit half the time, and they simply allow themselves to go to two and lose the game. And that's just really clutch when that happens, and it happens a lot, you guys. So for our black cards, we run two Mass Saints, two Scientist Foos. I like both of those as a two of. I really do. I think that's all you need in the deck. If one of the copies happens to be in your life, you have the other copy you'll see throughout the course of the game, or you'll eventually get it out of your life. So I like running two. That way you're never at one life and you can't see it, because you'll see it. You'll see it if there's a two, co two copies in your deck. So this card, honestly, if I like it, I might bump it up to two, but for now it's at one just for testing. Uh, it feels like Raging Kaba to me which was a card that I always ended up cutting out of every deck that I put it in, so I might actually cut this one. But I could see it potentially being a really strong 4 of in the deck. If I want to go that route, I'd probably cut the hit package for that, maybe cut 3 lightning fast hits, run 4 kales. So if I built a sideboard for this deck, 
it would probably be the fourth copy of Unbreakable Goku, three other copies of Kale, and probably my fourth lightning fast hit. And I would swap out the hits for the Kales if necessary, or I would cut the Kale for the hit if necessary, something like that. Um, I could swap in the Unbreakables if I think both of these are bad, make, maybe make, make some cuts on other stuff. I could play the fourth Kaba's Awakening on a sideboard as well. I could also play a third or fourth copy of Mass Saiyan, but I probably wouldn't run a third or fourth copy of Science is True in my sideboard. The rest of my sideboard choices are probably going to be other threats, maybe Haru Haru um, or Shun Shun could be in there. Um, in the next set, I could run the, uh, the card that basically shits on Shugesh in my sideboard because it's a black card. I could simply run that in the sideboard as well, and that would fill up the sideboard quite nicely, I think. You could run so Sun Goten Family of Justice in this deck. It fits quite nicely, actually. Um, it's going to fill your drop up. It's only one to play, and it blows shit up, dude, including blockers, which Mass Saiyan doesn't blow up. So you could run that as well in the deck. That's also pretty strong. So that's all the options that you might have for a really strong 50-card uh, list and 15-card side deck. And I think you guys are going to like this after playing with it. I certainly do like this deck. I think this is going to be what I use every week now. Um, for a while anyway, until I get sick of it or my friends get sick of it. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll basically keep you guys informed. Um, in the future, if I make changes, I'll make another list and I'll post that as well so you have that information. But I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I did make a more detailed video talking about all of the synergy that all these cards have, which I will actually link in the description, so you have that information if you need it. And until next time, guys, peace out. Stay super. Just kidding. I'm not that guy.